Hello, and I was just thinking about Bond spin-offs. We haven't really had one, have we? And I think Felix Leiter would be a good character to put in a spin-off. Felix Leiter is kind of like an American version of James Bond in a way, but I think in the films he's a rather underutilised character. We don't get much of him, and we don't get much of a sense of a friendship between Bond and Felix. It's a bit of a kind of, they like each other, um, but that's it. Felix isn't, isn't in actually that many of the Bond films. He appears in one of the seven Roger Moore films, for example. I just put my finger up, there is one of the seven. Um, Roger Moore films, so that's a bit underwhelming. Um, you get flashes of Felix Leiter um, and Bond being genuine friends, like more than just sort of colleagues who kind of like each other's company, you know, their presence, they are actually friends, uh, mainly in the, the David Hedison, you know, when David Hedison's playing Felix Leiter in Live and Let Die and License to Kill, and you kind of get a little sense of that in the Craig films with Jeffrey Wright playing Felix Leiter, but could there ever be a Felix Leiter spin-off? Right. You introduce Felix Leiter in the main Bond movie, and then a year or 18 months later or two years later, you do a Felix Leiter spin-off movie. Would that work? It's hard to say. You'd have to lean heavily into Bond territory. You'd have to really say, this is a Bond spin-off. You'd have to really say that on all the posters and the trailers and things like that, from the people that brought you No Time to Die or whatever the latest Bond movie is at that time. You'd have to really go into that. You'd have to have the same Felix Leiter that was in the Bond movie a year or two before, so contractually would that work? So there's that, you know, housekeeping that'd be quite difficult. Another thing that'd be difficult is, would people even bother to see it? Would this even whip up people into some sort of exciting frenzy? Would people want to see a Felix Leiter movie? He's pretty great in the books, he's far more interesting in the books than he is in the movies, um, and far more utilised into the plot. In most of the movies that he appears in, he's just kind of there, and he appears in a few scenes, and he's great and everything, but he doesn't do a ton. And even in Licence to Kill, where he's like the reason the plot exists, he's in a few scenes at the beginning, and then his leg gets bitten off, and then he doesn't appear again until right near the end. So, uh, I, think, I think a Felix Leiter Bond film, a Felix Leiter Bond film, a Felix Leiter spin-off, would, would it even work? Depends on the writers. That's the specific movie. What would the plot be about? Would it be about him on his own mission and Bond maybe appears to help, but it's from Felix Leiter's perspective? That could work. But would there be any demand for this story? Uh, no, basically. It's an interesting thing to ponder about, an interesting pipe dream, but the likelihood, the likelihood of it happening is pretty small, pretty zilchy. Uh, it's kind of interesting, though. I kind of think if... Bond went from being MGM and Eon Productions to uh, Warner Bros or Disney even, especially Disney, they would milk it dry and they would do spin-off after spin-off after spin-off. You'd get M during his like pre-M days, a prequel cool with M, and you'd get definitely a Felix Leiter spin-off. But to be honest, would people even bother seeing it? Uh, no, basically. A Felix Leiter spin-off wouldn't happen. Um, I think it's a fun idea. It's something interesting to ponder and interesting to think about. But I don't think the general public have that connection to Felix Leiter in the same way they have to Bond, or even other characters. I think, um, you know, Bill Tanner probably has a more recent um, appreciation among um, audience goers than film goers than um, Felix Leiter. You know, he's appeared more regularly in recent years, um, all but one of the Craig films. I'm not saying there should even be a Bill Tanner spin-off, I don't know how boring that would be, but, you know, Felix Leiter spin-off, would be interesting though. I think they could, if they ever greenlit it and they announced tomorrow, you know, there's going to be a Felix Leiter spin off for March the 15th, 2024. It'll be directed by Sam Mendes or whatever. I'd be very interested, but I don't think there's an appetite for such a film uh, at all and probably ever, to be honest, unless there's a huge spike in sales of Felix Leiter merch. Um, that's a very odd thing, and as for spin-offs generally, there was going to be, or allegedly was going to be a Jinx spin-off after Die Another Day for a 2004 release, but that didn't happen, and thank goodness for that. So Bond's spin-off movie doesn't seem particularly likely, whether it would be Felix Leiter or Jinx or any other of the Bond characters, although a share of J.W. Pepper spin-off would be pretty mental. Anyway, those are my musings on Bond spin-offs and Felix Leiter. Bye.